Welcome to Glen Soch, the home of our James Hutton Institute's Climate Positive Farming Initiative. Climate positive farming is defined here as a transformative approach to farming which aims to achieve net zero or ideally negative carbon emissions whilst at the same time protecting and enhancing the biodiversity of the farm and also ensuring a sustainable farm business. A key to success here is understanding the whole system and recognising the multiple costs and benefits of different land use choices for the environment, for society and also for the economy. All of what we're doing here at Glensoch aims to inform and help progress that process. We have a diverse programme of research, of regenerative management and also new technology trials here at Glensoch. All of them have a strong focus on integrated approaches to land management with the aim of achieving multiple benefits. One of the headline requirements for land managers is to increase carbon capture and storage in soils and vegetation. We're keen to explore how this can be achieved in ways that also improve livestock health and wider biodiversity. So if we take the farm as a whole unit, we're integrating habitat management measures across different parts of the farm to maximise the combined benefits from the peatland at the very top of the hill, working down the way through moorland and hill grassland, where we're also actively increasing our woodland cover, which includes agroforestry, and then down into the more productive grazing land at the core of the farm. And integrating across all these different habitats, we're also exploring innovative ways to manage the water that passes through the farm. And we're combining here whole farm catchment management approaches with research on different technical solutions for natural flood management. Another critical area is exploring new approaches to directly reducing greenhouse gas emissions from both livestock and also from fossil fuel use on the farm. We start with livestock emissions. We're keen here to identify ways that farmers can bring down their emissions beyond the obvious of just reducing livestock numbers. So one area that we're looking at is how targeted changes in pasture species composition can contribute to this aim. For example, using direct drilling of seed into established pastures with the aim of achieving improvements in productivity and health, and also then with resulting reductions in emissions from the livestock, whilst at the same time avoiding those big carbon losses that can result from ploughing and reseeding. So careful species choices here can increase carbon sequestration, nitrogen fixing, and also wider biodiversity. Combining this then with rotational grazing can also give additional livestock and sward health benefits, which we're also keen to explore further here at Glen Soch. In terms of fossil fuel use and the emissions from that, our primary current focus here is assessing the potential for production and use of renewable hydrogen to meet all of the energy requirements for the farm and also its associated residential community. So we've assessed different models which can readily be replicated at other farms and also across other rural communities. And this is a really exciting area which is moving very, very fast. There's also an important people element to our research and we have a range of different projects exploring how to add value through climate positive farming, be that via agritourism, knowledge sharing with other farmers, training and or other avenues. So through this, we're aiming to explore what a farm like Glensoch can offer consumers, tourists and other visitors. And this, of course, can be virtual as opposed to in person. And we're all getting very good at that at the moment. And the development and use of virtual reality tools is a big area of research for the Institute. This technology gives really exciting opportunities to engage people with farming and to share knowledge experientially. Thank you for watching our short video. We have now retired undercover because as you can probably hear in the background, the rain is lashing down. So we have plenty more information on our website if you want to find out more about what we do. And if you want to work with us or just pay us a visit, please do get in touch. Thank you.